scholar the presentation is submitted to dr mazhar ayal the topic of discussion is entomological warfare subtitle is historical and contemporary overview department of parasitology here is index introduction what is entomological warfare entomological warfare is basically a type of biological warfare that uses insects to interrupt the supply lines by damaging crops or to directly harm the enemy combatants Entomological warfare is a specific type of biological warfare that uses insects in a direct attack or as a vector to deliver a biological agent such as plague, cholera. How they work? Insects are first infected with the pathogen such as bacteria, virus and a parasite then they are dispersed on the targeted areas. These insects act as a vector and in fact the particular animal or a people of the targeted areas insects can destroy the crops directly they work as a biological allies how you can see the allies of locust so they just go and destroy everything in their way types of entomological warfare there are three main types of entomological warfare the first one is an infected insect as a vector the second one is an infected insect direct cause devastating effects on the crops and third one is an uninfected insect directly attack the enemy combatants prehistorical tactics as we know that the early use of insects in the warfare was very common because at that time technology was not at its climax. So Paleolithic period or the Stone Age and some time were ethnic group of the people of the Nigeria. They just used these sort of tactics. They just toast the nest of the bees, hornets and wasps and ants on the enemy combatant to disrupt the formation of enemy. Ancient in the medieval time, around 200 BCE before common era Chinese used beehives as a biological war they throw hives into the enemy ranks to create chaos and confusion the next is Mongol Empire Chinggis Khan was very you know well known by the use of rudimentary entomological warfare they catapult the plague infested bodies into the besieged to spread disease, Mongol city Kafa, and this continued about three years. The Mongol camps devastating by plague and outbreak was the insect and the plague infected bodies, resulting the pandemic stretched across the Europe and killing about twenty five million people. At the time of Napoleonic War in seventeen ninety nine, the Ottoman Empire declared war on the France. Uh, by promoting the, uh, the France's invasion of Syria with the troops of about 13,000. As Napoleon's fled and fasted troop seats, disease increased in prevalence and Napoleon accepted defeat. In 1812, Napoleon amassed 4,50,000 soldiers for the invasion of Russia. The French lost about 80,000 soldiers to the disease within one month. And the outbreak was the lice-borne disease and the typhus. The next is insect-borne disease in United States Civil War in 1862. 4,88,000 soldiers who perished in the Civil War, in which two by third died of the disease. More than 20,000 Union Army men were hospitalized due to the malaria. Union Army withdrawn after realizing that the opponents had used entomological weapons. The outbreak was the mosquitoes, the insect borne disease. The world wars, beginning of the 1914, the Eastern Front became a worst case scenario of the typhus in the Laos by November 1914. Typhus began to separate three quarter troops died in outbreak. This was an insect borne disease, and this was a more deadlier than bombs or the bullets. At that time, British sanitary uh, units adopted dry cleaning method to overcome this. They just uh, controlled the typhus, but uh, trench fever emerged in the France and the Belgium, and afflicting about eight lakh men with few fatalities. At the time of World War II, Japanese used insects in the World War II, so experimentation with plague infested bodies, plague infested fleas on the prisoners. The, and they also release cholera bacteria in the Chinese cities. 
at the time of cold war era entomological warfare during the cold war was uh, just a research program in the united states and the soviet union they just focused on the research and the development here is a diagram here is a diagram of biological weapons and different uh, centuries in which uh, the different kind of you know historical background of the biological weapons used in the warfare biological weapons convention and the you know in 20 in 1925 the geneva protocol is signed for the prohibition of the use of any biological weapon in 1975 biological weapon convention is disarmament treaty that signed uh, that effectively ban any of the biological and toxin weapons by prohibition they are prohibiting their production development acquisition transfer stockpiling and use here are some common entomological uh, diseases next is the contemporary overview the, so the modern concern then development and the potential for the biotechnology as a gmo the united states intelligent officials have suggested that insects could be genetically modified by a technology called crispr so gmo the genetically modified organism the killer mosquitoes uh, they modify to to curb the spread of a disease like zika dengue and west nile virus current research also so shows that it may also be possible to implant disease or pathogens via genetic modification and that can be you know used for the warfare in next in near future the third one is the modified modified insects can also be useful for to kill that kind of insects which spread diseases to the crops how you can see the gmo the killer mosquito which are genetically modified for the zika virus number 1 on from the from the left side number second one is for the west nile virus and number third gmo mosquito uh it can be used to implant disease or a pathogen via genetical modification for use in the warfare in near future so there are some known military use of insects as we know that the agriculture pest control agriculture for agriculture pest control insects can be used to uh, monitor the agriculture ecosystem for example ladybug ladybugs and the parasitoid wasps are used to control the pest in integrated pest management system uh, reducing the need for the chemical pesticide the next one is environmental monitoring or the insects work as a bio indicators they are provide valuable valuable information about the quality of an ecosystem a changes in their abundance or diversity can signal the environmental changes such as pollution habitat degradation or climate change so they can also be used for the biodiversity assessment for by monitoring insect of any particular area threats so some threats are there because they are transmissible agent that may cause zoonosis of uh, from animal to human and reverse zoonosis a uh, human to animal and from person to person and from animal to animal because of their concealed delivery easy transportation and difficult identification they are readily adaptable for terrorists to to gain political advantages so some security measures are there security measures should be applicable the first one is a prevention early detection rapid alert and the responses biosecurity biosecurity is therefore some of risk management practices in in, in defense against the biological threats 
conclusions the use of insect has not been highly successful and has resulted in the unintended consequences additionally uh, the international agencies such as wwc have banned the use of biological agents entomological weapons entomological weapons or entomological warfare has mostly been supplanted by the other form of warfare such as chemical or physical physical which are more controllable and effective here are the references Thanks.